Hello, my name is Tim Gerhardt and I'm from Lapstrong. Today we're going to connect the 50 liter carboy to the Fistream 3 glass distillation system. First thing you want to do is remove the cap, pull that cap off. There's an inlet for your distillate and this is your overflow drain just in case it floats which doesn't work and it actually keeps pushing water into the tank. This will actually go to an atmospheric drain. You want to grab your float switch which comes with the still. First thing you want to do is remove, there's a clip at the bottom. Remove the clip. Take the float off and there's a top and a bottom to it. There's writing on the top. There's nothing on the bottom. That has to be reoriented back onto the float switch correctly. There's also the bulkhead nut that gets removed. And then the cap, you just simply put the float switch down through the cap. Put the nut down on to the cap. Tighten that down. And hand tight should be good. There's an o-ring that goes in here as well to seal it. Tighten that down. Your float, you just make sure you've got your lettering towards the top. Your clip, this goes back on the bottom. And that's your float switch. This is a position when it needs water. This is a position when it's full. So we're just gonna put that back into the tank. Tighten that down. And then the float switch gets connected to the still. There's a dent into here that actually sticks out so that it goes into only one position into the float. It's a four pin connector. Locate that, push that in, and then quarter turn on the locking ring, and that's in place. And when you do this, you wanna make sure that the system is disconnected from power, either a breaker switch or if you unplug it, and then shut off all your water sources as well so you don't have that in here when you're installing it. Next thing you want to do is install is our elbow and our T-fitting for our distillate to come out. And then we're gonna connect up the tubing to the float switch assembly. Just lift the door up, pull out on the bottom, pull down on the top, put that aside. We're gonna reuse that. The red connectors where your distillate comes out for both of your condensers, the elbow just slides up inside of a seal and you just tighten the cap back down. The T slides up into that seal. Tighten the cap back down by hand. Then your distillate tube, which does come with the still, you're gonna slide through the right-hand side of the still here. Come through, connect up to our T piece here. Now we're gonna have our distillate feeding from the left-hand condenser to the T in the right-hand condenser then they both join together and come out. So you got four liters, four liters, a total of eight liter. That's what this system is, an eight liter per hour. Your distillate tube comes out, connects up to your tank. Push that down on the straight piece of fitting. You wanna make sure that there's no loops or sags in here, because when this gets warm, if it's got any kind of sag in it, it'll actually loop down and come back up, which will stop any water from, distillate water from coming out. So you wanna make sure you got a nice downhill gravity feed to the tank. Last thing you want to do as far as the connections is this is our overflow. So we're connect this to the back. There's a 9 degree elbow back here. Connect that up. This end would go to a sink just in case the float switch fails or the electronic portion inside the still fails to read the float switch then this system will be able to continue to run and this will go to a drain rather than going all over your floor. So it's important to have this overflow in the system. Last but not least, we want to put the door back in place because when any time you operate the still, you want to make sure the door is in place. So we we'll just simply take the door, slide it up into the top slot, down into the bottom slot, doors in place. That's how you connect up the 50 liter carboy to the Fistream 3 distillation system. Thanks for watching. At LabStrong, we are committed to making your lab life easier. For additional assistance, please contact the experts at LabStrong.